It hurts the businesses. The water looks terrible. The fish die. Well, business owners and boaters are struggling in our waterfront communities in Southwest Florida, telling us they're having to work harder just to do their daily things, trying to make a buck. Samples from the Caloosahatchee last week showed a really high level of toxins in the water related to some of that blue-green algae that we've been seeing. And the water is on the move, right? So four in your corner, Sam Sosa is in North Fort Myers, showing you the latest places where this blue-green algae has been popping up. Sam? We've been telling you guys for quite some time about the blue green algae inland in communities like LaBelle and Clewiston, but that algae's now migrated over to North Fort Myers and people are really starting to notice. Uh, business has been all right, except for the people who want to take kayaks to their local spots. Uh, a lot of their local spots upriver and uh, begin to go downriver full of the green algae. The fresh water to brown water. Green water on the move, reaching North Fort Myers. Chris at Marina Town Bait Shop and Kayak Rental tells me the algae has people going out of their way. He's expecting more of this as algae blooms make their way down the river from Lake Okeechobee. How do you prepare for that? I, uh, I just keep knowledgeable. Uh, so you can tell people, you know, where they can go and where they can't go. At a marina in the waterway estates nearby, boat owners find themselves doing workarounds too. Raw water uh, you use for your commodes and your air conditioning systems, and that's my only concern right now. People who live at this marina have some pretty sophisticated boats, but even they have to find different accommodations when algae plugs up some of their equipment. It's going to stop something up. If it gets in there and stops something up, it'll shut your air conditioners down. You won't be able to take a shower, those sorts of things. We're open seven days a week from 10 o'clock to 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock on Saturdays. We get fresh blue crabs every day. The guys at Cowboy Crab and Seafood in North Fort Myers are working harder than ever. They're usually able to get fresh crab from the river, but now because of blue-green algae, they're traveling to further spots where FWC tells them it's safe to catch food. We can't control nature, so you know what? We're going to go out two hours earlier, catch what we can catch come back a little bit later. This adds up for them in fuel costs, but as they prepare for a 4th of July rush, they can't stop. Customers are happy and we, we don't have no worries. I mean, the output, you get, you get what you put out. We're going to keep following the water, monitoring and telling you guys what we see on air and online at fox4now.com. In North Fort Myers, Sam Sosa, Fox 4 in your corner. All right.